What's up, guys? It's me, your pet ass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so I think I've decided to go straight to the Silphco warehouse because it looks like uh, something important is going on in there. I already bought myself a keg of beer, so we'll get to the next town eventually. Now, let's see what ends up happening right here, okay? So it does sound like Team Rocket is here. And, well, let's see, this warehouse is empty, and to me it looks like, uh, huh. Well, it looks, it looks, wow, okay, so, let's see. There's nobody in here right now, and we're just going to be finding some Pokemon. Obviously, we're going to be looking at some Pokemon right here, like Paris. Didn't know we can actually find Pokemon, okay, so, let's see. Oh, wait, there's a Pokeball. Now, that might be one of the, like, the Voltorbs or the Electrodes and all that stuff. So, we're probably going to... Well, we're, just, we're still going to challenge it. It's just, uh, let's see. Hold on just a sec. I'm going to put on a Repel because it looks like that there's going to be a lot of Paras and Parasects right here. So, let's go ahead and go over here. And we found ourselves an upgrade, which can, we can use for a Porygon. Luckily, we already have that guy, and off-screen, I did send back a few items to the PC. The majority of them happens to be the PC or the, the TMs, mainly because, well, once I get a, t a good team going, then eventually I'll just, you know, you know, then I'll start teaching them some good moves and whatnot. Right now, I'm just gonna, yeah, right now I'm just gonna take care of this, and, well, I'm still looking for some Team Rocket members right here, but whatever. Okay. No bother. Grab this, and here we have the TM-19. Do not know what that is, so let's go ahead and find out. And that is Seismic Toss. Okay, so we get another one right here. Actually, I'm thinking of Pokemon uh, Unova Red. But let's go straight forward and see what we can actually find right here, too. Repel has worn off. And we're going to get attacked by a Ghastly. Okay! So there are Pokemon in here that I could capture. Ghastly could be one of them. I mean, I, I've always wanted to use Ghastly. Don't know how it will fit on my team since I already have a poison type Pokemon. And, well, here we are. And, well, let's see. This time, we will succeed. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a rocket. Coming with his Meowth. So it looks like to me we're going to be, you know, we're just going to be busy. Very busy. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Let's get it. Let's go, Bruce Lee. Knew there was going to be a bite attack, so let's go straight for a double kick right here. So, anywho, guys, I, I mentioned last episode that the quality of my voiceovers has just gotten a little bit better. There's nothing too different. It's just that, you know, I, you know, if you guys take a look on Instagram, you know, you guys will see the new setup that I have. And it's not in my actual office at, at, at work. It's right here at home. And what was it? Um, I got back. I got my. I got my uh, microphone stand back up. And well, let's see. I went back to my. Let's see. My blue snowball. My blue snowball microphone. Mainly because it like it can actually be hold like held by this. You know by this microphone stand. Nothing against my my Yeti. It's just I'm using my Yeti for something else, and wow, this guy's got a Persian, okay! Let's go, let's go, let's just battle crud, look at this, a Persian right now. Okay, alright, we're about to kick some bite, it's probably a good thing that I, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing that I picked up Bruce Lee then, look at that. And coming out with a Doug Trio, let's go right ahead. There it is. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so here we go, Razor Leaf, and this guy's gonna be faster than us. Now, wow, I'm, I'm liking the step up in competition right here, I really am. Holy crud, look at that, and say goodbye to Doug Trio. Okay, and let's see, he's gonna come out with a Diglett, so let's just continue on right here. Now, I think at this point I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna start picking out some Pokemon that, you know, I will be using later on onto my team. Uh, I kind of want to use some, yeah, I kind of want to use some, uh, some Johto Pokemon, but, <laughs> yeah, don't know where to find some just yet, and just like that, look at this, we defeat this guy, and yeah, he goofed, okay, so what is his deal, our boss will fail, will not fail us, 
Okay, so there's going to be some Pokemon trainers right here. Good thing that I got myself some super potions just to take care of that. Alright, so take care of that. And, well, should I risk it? Yes. Kid, why are you in here? Well, because you guys took over the warehouse. That's why. And, well, he's coming out with a level 26 Zubat. Okay, alrighty. Now we're talking. Let's go. Confusion attack. Nearly defeats Zubat right here. And here comes that Confuse Ray. Do not like that Confuse Ray. And, well, come on. Come on, Ultra Psycho. There it is. Well, like I was saying. Oh, damn. <laughs> Phone fell off my hands. Okay. Like I was saying, guys, I, you know, I just changed microphones. That's all there is to it, especially for my desktop. I, I, you know, I seen, well, I listened to the quality of the, well, they both have the same quality. The deal is that I kind of just want to have one microphone here for voiceovers and the other one just for the other voiceovers that I may do. Uh, and plus, you know, the microphone stand here kind of just like, it, it does, it, it can hold on to the microphone, uh, or to the blue, uh, yeah, the blue mic, or the, you know, the, the snowball. The little snowball thing that I have right here. Alright, okay. So, let's not run into that right there, and, well, ha! You thought I would help? Not really. Not really. Okay. Let's go. Take it on a Voltorb right here, level 25. And, well, let's see. Go up against let's go with Sunny right here because Voltorb looks a mean and it's going to use a sonic boom. Now there is something that intrigues me about this. Never mind, it just takes 20. So yeah, we're gonna take a few hits here and there. Let's go straight for a razor leaf. And the razor leaf hits it pretty well, and there it goes with the critical hit. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, and well, he's coming out with a Mankey. Let's go straight for Hurricane. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Alright, Hurricane. Do your thing. And wow, this guy's Pokemon are fast. Yeah, pretty fast. Oh crud. Pretty fast. Never mind, okay. So here we go. Fly attack, and here goes the fly attack. Say goodbye to Mankey right here. Okay, alrighty, and well, coming out with a cadaver. So these guys are stepping up their game with the Pokemon they're using. I'm impressed. Really am. Okay, so let's go with someone physical. Let's go back to Sunny. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Let's go with a body slam. And there goes its poison powder, which, yeah, won't do much. And look at this paralysis. Okay. There you go, Body Slam does the trick, and there goes another Pokemon, and say hello to level 30 Sunny right here. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up a Pokemon right here. Let's see. Beer Keg off limits, because we need to go to the next town. Ultra Psycho gets his thing, and well, let's see. Go right here. Okay, so that goes upstairs. Jeebus, okay, so let's see, hold on just a sec. Let's go upstairs right here. Don't, there's nothing. Never mind. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna have to be battling. And yeah, we need a key for that one. Yeah, there's nothing right here, so. It needs a card key. Can't open the doors! Okay, alrighty. Going up against a scientist, and he does have Pokemon that my uh, Ultra Psycho can go up against right here. So let's go straight for the Confusion Attack. And look at that. Grimer still, you know, still alive. Let's go. Can't wait. Can't wait for Ultra Psycho to, uh, to get, uh, what was it? Uh, recover, because that would be nice. And wow, he's coming out with some poison type, so I'm loving this. All right, let's go. Confusion Attack. And what the hell happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Okay. Yeah, that right there is not going to fly. He hit us pretty hard, so... Alright, let's go with Master. Let's go with Master right here. Okay. Yeah, that wheezing destroyed my Pokemon, so let's go Flamethrower Attack. 
And there goes a critical hit. Look at that. Weezing just getting destroyed. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 24. And, well, let's see. Yeah, this guy's coming out with Poison-type Pokemon. This should be Paradise for Ultra Psycho, but... Do not want to risk it with the Poison and all that crud. So there it is. Flamethrower for the win. Master growing levels. And, well, it's coming out with another Weezing. So let's go straight for it again. And... There we go. Flamethrower. It does its trick. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So there we go, defeated this guy, and this guy is gonna tell us the door's only open with the card key. Yeah, okay. So we got a few antidotes. Should give that to Ultra Psycho before he faints. And, well, let's go for another super potion. And there we go, okay. Let us move on upstairs, and, well, we're gonna be finding some Pokemon trainers here. Holy crud. Feeling lucky, punk? I do love the dialogue. <laughs> okay, so the Rocket wants to fight, and he's coming out with a Machop. Okay, so these guys are coming out with some pretty good Pokemon. I'm liking it. I'm loving the competition. Here we go. Confusion. Nearly destroys Machop, and here comes a low kick. Not so effective. There we go. You had no chance. No chance. And then, uh... Machoke. So this one's a scary, scary Pokemon because its attack has increased tenfold right there. And look at it as a Karate Chop. Wow, hits us pretty hard with a critical hit. <sighs> okay, Hurricane, do your thing. Alrighty, here we go. Fly attack. And well, fly attack does the trick. Say goodbye to Macho. Okay, alrighty. And, well, there goes a rocket. Now, I'm gonna have to heal my Pokemon. Yeah, I, I can't just go in here and not use Ultra Psycho. So, let's go right ahead and uh, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's, do, let's just do this because I do not want to travel all the way uh, back down. Let's go in here. And look at that. Whoa, boy, I smell something hard. Some hard beer. Give it to me. I need to. need it so bad. And glug, glug, glug. Glug, goop, go. This stuff hits you. And he is asleep. Looks like I can't get past this guy now. Complete my quest. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so Team Rocket is here. Talk to this guy. What do you want? Get lost. So we're in. Let's see. What kind of town are we in? And it's all red. We are in Botan City. Now that's the only reason why we got past the guard is because we need to get to the Pokemon Center real quickly. So let's go right ahead and find it. Holy crud, are you serious? Oh my god, why did the creators made the... Oh god. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of Team Rocket members around here. Uh, it looks like to me we're gonna have to start talking to these guys. We're taking the town. Okay, so this is kind of like the equivalent of Saffron. When the warehouse is ours, the Team Rocket will be rich. Hmm. What is this? To be demolished? Come